Welcome back to the Bud's Cooking Show. Again, we got Brandon LeBlanc with us from Posadas in Lafayette. And he's uh, got a nice corn salsa coming for us and a beautiful blackened piece of red snapper. Brandon, take over. This is roasted corn, guys. This is what it looks like. Whenever you get these nice brown kernels, it brings out that earthy flavor in it. I mean, it's good sweet corn. Well, while that's done, we'll go ahead and put this aside. I'm actually gonna add it to my black beans here. And just to remind everybody at home, if you want some of the fresh ingredients that Brand is using here today, even Chef Paul Brudhomme's Black in the Mix, you can come by the Piggly Wiggly stores here in Opelousas at 8014 Highway 182 North or 1305 Heather Drive, the Southside location. And I know I definitely got Paul Brudhomme's Black in the Mix on the shelf. <laughs> if you have trouble finding it, call me. I'll, I'll show you where it's at. Excuse me. <laughs> Get tangled up, right? Get a little tangled up. Okay, so we got our black bean and our corn up inside here. Let's go ahead and lower this for now. Uh, get a little stir on that. We'll add a little bit of fresh onion, red onion. The smell. Mm -hmm. just, and that's the I'm thing, smell that smells good. Over here. You know, it's, it's, a lot of people think that Southwestern food and, and uh, Cajun food, whichever it may be, is always spicy because of the, 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 uh, the cayenne we put in things. Mm -hmm. And that's so not true. It's the, it's the vegetables that we use, and, and mm -hmm. I mean, it's just flavorable. If you use good fresh vegetables, you don't have to add much cayenne pepper yeah, or black pepper to it. Right. You know, you ha use your vegetables, use fresh vegetables. Don't overcook your vegetables, you know? And I think that's a, that's a lot of problem that, that are problems that I run into at a lot of restaurants. You'll get some of these vegetables that are just way overcooked, you know, mm -hmm. just tore up. Okay, so we have that. We're gonna add a little bit of tomatoes to this. And very simple at home, people can do this. It's not. Oh, it's very simple. You, you see what you get. you know how get. to do it. This is it right here, man. There's nothing tricky to it. Of course, this is not exactly the way we do it at a restaurant because I would get let go because of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. but, uh, you can't let go of the secrets. You can't let go of the secrets, guys. But <laughs> as you see, I'm just throwing something together that I would do at home, you know? Now, we're going to add, we have diced tomatoes, we have red onion, black bean, roasted corn. Now, what I'd like to do, Jason, if you wouldn't mind helping me out, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to slide this off inside uh, this pan here, and we're going to go ahead and cut up a, a cilantro, some cilantro, and then uh, lime. If you could do the lime first, that'd okay. be just great. Any lime you want, here's a, a knife, and I'm going to go ahead and start up on some of this shrimp right here. I'm gonna slide this to the side. So this is just about ready. You never want to overcook the fish, it's ready. Okay. We have an extra little plate, which I guess right here, we got some in there. All right, that's beautiful right there. Thank you, sir. We'll set this down, let that just rest, and then we'll grab some shrimp that's right on the other side of Jason. Right here. I got some beautiful shrimp here. Oh, yeah. We grabbed the Piggly Wiggly. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Joey was uh, kind enough to bring me some in. I was eyeing those earlier. <laughs> <laughs> now, the same skillet. I'm just going to drop this inside there. Oh. Was peeled in the vein. Fresh shrimp, guys. Support your local fishermen if you can. Uh, I know Piggly Wigglies does. Oh, definitely. We, we try to keep take care of all the people around us, especially with the economy the way it is. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone. And uh, excuse, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Jason. No problem. Uh, in Louisiana, that's been coming in and uh, trying our food at Posados Cafe. Uh, we've got new management inside there, and we're we're really turning things up, guys. They're gonna have to come out and see me. Uh, again, my name is Brandon LeBlanc. Uh, I've had a few friends call me asking me where I've been working at. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've been at Posados, guys. Y'all come and get some of my food. Tell them follow the good smell. That's it. Well, Brandon, <laughs> why, you had, why did you tell us you was operation at Posados? Okay, we do uh, Sunday through Thursday. We're open 11 to 10. And then we have uh, Friday and Saturdays is from 11 to 11. So please come out and uh, see us. Uh, it's always something good going on over there. I have some uh, some challenges possibly coming up. I'd like to tell y'all, but y'all gonna have to just come out and see it. Uh, thinking about doing some some gigantic burritos come on. as a con oh. contest. Could possibly be anywhere between five to seven pounds. Cool. So if, if you can have it, if you can handle it, 
Come on out and try oh. it. And, uh, I get a walk home. If, walk you can, that's it. if you can eat it, it's free. If not, wow. we'll see what happens. Oh. You know? I'll bring my wallet. Uh. Uh, what I'd like to do is try to be able to uh, get a wall of fame, you know, nice plaque. You get your name put up if you can eat it. Uh, you know, simple rules to follow by. <laughs> is there a time limit? Sometimes there's time limits for the well, Oh, yeah, we're going to have to have some kind of time <laughs> limit on it. So I thought this was off. But not like in no hour or nothing. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Which one did I just turn off there? Let me go. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we got you going. All right. Uh, no, there's no time limit. Um, as of right now, there's none. It's still in the mix, mm -hmm. guys. So uh, I'm not just sure, but if you'd like to come out and try it, uh, I'd have to price it out. But I'm just giving you all a little heads up on what's yeah. to come, you know. Mm -hmm. It's on the way uh, in the works. Right. That's right, it's in the works. And I'm also looking for something to do, you know, fun for the kids. We have a, a back dine, uh, a private room in the back that'll sit 60 to 70 people comfortably. And uh, we do uh, in-house catering. Uh, Go ahead. Also on-site catering if you need, uh, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, we're there to accommodate any any needs. No party for too big, no party too That's small. That's it. And with these recipes that you're using here today, it just goes to show everybody that there is lit and stuff you're waiting for it, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to copy this recipe or any other recipes done here on the show, just go to our website, kbcg.com. Click on the What's Cooking show. Got it. <laughs> and you have to pick up these uh, recipes that Brandon's doing here for us today. You probably or any other recipes. Uh, Huh? You probably went home and started rehearsing that for <laughs> I'm going to get it down. Jason's going to oh, leave me yeah. alone. <laughs> Please wait for me to mess up. I done heard him KGCD, KCCG. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I get it so backwards all the time. I got the owners asking, so what show are you doing? I said, well, it's K, K song. K, I'll tell you what, I'll text it to you. <laughs> I got to look it up first. I don't want to lie to you. I know I got a D and a G. Well, Brandon, we can go ahead and take another short break real quick, right, and we'll be back good. with more What's Cooking Show.